Hello, and welcome to the Verification Academy. My name is Tom Fitzpatrick, Strategic Verification Architect here at Mentor, a Siemens business. And this course is Portable Stimulus Basics. This course will consist of four individual sessions, beginning with this one, in which we will cover the reasons and justification for creating a portable stimulus standard. Let's get started. By the end of this session, you should have a good understanding of what we mean by the term portable stimulus and why it's becoming so important in our industry. We'll talk about the motivation and goals for portable stimulus and what it means to create stimulus at the scenario level, which will require a slightly different way of thinking about the problem. And based on this, we'll talk about requirements for a viable portable stimulus solution. In future sessions, we'll get into specific detail about the new portable stimulus standard from Accelera. And by the end of the entire course, you should be able to see how you'll be able to apply this exciting approach using Mentor's Cuesta Infact Portable Stimulus tool to model using the portable stimulus language and also to import information from your existing UVM verification environment and take advantage of Infact's analysis and automation to more efficiently reach your coverage goals on your next verification project. First, a little bit of background. For the past several years, Mentor has commissioned a biannual industry survey to see what issues users are facing. The survey is quite extensive, but one question in particular that we asked is, what is your biggest verification challenge? We separated the responses between ASIC and FPGA teams, and as you can see, by far the most common response was that the biggest challenge was in creating a sufficient number of effective tests to reach coverage closure. And that's not really surprising considering everything that goes into verifying an SOC design today. So to understand why portable stimulus is needed, we have to consider yet again the problem of increasing complexity. Regardless of whether you measure design complexity by number of gates, amount of IP, number of embedded processors, software content, or any other metric, the relentless increase in complexity continues. This means that once again, we're at the point where verification needs a productivity boost to be able to keep pace. One issue is that the verification process itself has become a larger problem where to support large SOC design verification, many different execution platforms are used from simulation to emulation and FPGA prototyping. Historically, each of these platforms required a different way of specifying tests, usually written by different stakeholders. We're at the point where productivity demands that we be able to reuse test intent across all these platforms. Just like Synthesis enabled the design productivity jump from gate level to RTL, and UVM enabled the verification productivity jump from directed testing to constrained random transaction level testing, the problem of SOC level verification requires a higher level of abstraction, and just like synthesis and constrained random, the use of automation.